Well, mazetaxin has been uh, tested and uh, been approved for the treatment of chronic myeloleukemia after uh, intolerance or resistance to more than two tyrosine kinase inhibitors. In this setting, there is uh, several trials that they were published and then been done a few years ago where this drug show some efficacy in the control of the disease, either in the resistance or intolerant setting of chronic myeloleukemia. So I've been using uh, omacetaxin for patients with chronic phase CML or even accelerated phase CML who already have failed several lines of tyrosine kinase inhibitors, right? In this setting, of course, is one uh, alternative that completely changed the mechanism of action for which we treat our patient. And in this, uh, in this scenario, there is uh, data to support the use of this drug because the effectivity on controlling the symptoms of the disease. Omacetaxin has been tested many years ago in several clinical trials, and there is no doubt that there is efficacy in chronic phase or accelerated phase chronic myeloleukemia. Um, the rates of uh, response are not as higher as the tyrosine kinase inhibitor in the front line or the second or even third line. However, when all the tyrosine kinase inhibitors are not really, uh, you know, um, a, a, way to treat those patients, omacetaxin has around 15% of response in these patients in terms of eradication of the chromosoma, uh, Philadelphia chromosomes. Uh, omacetaxin uh, has a role in patients who are resistant to multiple TKIs, uh, especially uh, later when they are uh, developing accelerated phase, um, as uh, it does not rely in its mechanism on the um, uh, presence or absence of certain uh, tyrosine kinase or BCR able mutation. Uh, in that regard, uh, this drug uh, is very effective in rapidly lowering the count and uh, promoting a hematologic response in patients who otherwise were totally resistant to TKI therapy or could not tolerate them. And uh, the main uh, side effect that one has to monitor in these instances is uh, uh, GI toxicity, diarrhea, and certainly um, pancytopenia or lowering of the blood counts. Um, in my own practice, I have used omesetaxin in patients in chronic phase when they could not uh, tolerate TKIs, and I have used it in patients with accelerated or blast phase when I needed uh, to obtain a rapid response, hematologic response, uh, usually as a bridge to transplant if the patient has a donor waiting or needs time to identify a donor uh, for transplant. In terms of uh, being able uh, to lower the count, omisataxin is a very effective uh, drug, uh, especially in patients who have been resistant uh, to have hematologic responses with all the previous TKIs mentioned. Uh, I have uh, not used omesetaxin with ponatinib, which is uh, usually approved for patients who are resistant to all other TKIs because of the side effects uh, of both drugs together. Uh, that said, omesetaxin is able to lower the white count in patients with chronic or accelerated phase, and uh, therefore it's a drug that should be uh, examined further in that setting.